Cameroon Link is having a chat with uh, Mr. Atabang George Atemken, who is the first uh, headmaster, manager, first manager of Lena Lindem uh, Primary School, Melo. Uh, of Lena and them, Bilingual Nursery and Primary School, Melo. Uh, just tell us something about this year's school. How did it start? Yeah, in 2018, uh, when uh, the anglophone crisis uh, started, uh, we came here uh, with the proprietor and decided uh, to create a school where it can harbor uh, children that were fleeing from the northwest and southwest region. So it's from there uh, that the idea came up because we realized that the students, the children that were here, they were stranded. They were not uh, adequate uh, English school, English institution uh, to, to, to take care of those children. So we decided that uh, since uh, the proprietor had a, a building, we should uh, institute the school here. And thank God, we applied to the Minister of Basic Education. And within uh, two months, the authorization came. And that's where uh, last uh, September 2018, uh, we kick-start the academic year uh, with close to uh, 160 uh, pupils. So how far has the uh, building continue, has, uh, continued because uh, it's a bilingual uh, nursery and primary school and uh, a bilingual nursery and primary school, has, uh, it's a, a school with two systems, you being the manager. Can you just tell us uh, how you are arranging it? Yeah, initially when we applied to the Minister of Basic Education, we were requesting that for the English section, subsection of uh, education. But the, 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 the authorization they gave it to us was a, a bilingual section. So uh, we thought that for to, to kickstart the, the two sex subsections the same year would be overload for us. So that is why we decided that this year, 2019-2020 uh, 2019, 20, academy year, the French section that you are seeing now is under construction. Presently we have constructed uh, the, the work is ongoing. We have seven class, decent classrooms, uh, where sizable following the government and international norms as far as uh, education is concerned. So, in 2019, 2018, we're expecting uh, parents to send for the French subsection to send in their, their children in here. We have received applications uh, from uh, teachers that have completed from uh, teachers training colleges. So, we have close to 30 applications now. Uh, so, within uh, by the end of uh, August, we shall be publishing the names of uh, the teachers that are uh, put it. Any other projects you intend to do uh, within the school with these uh, uh, children? Uh, since Lenandem has a good connection with UNESCO, and you know UNESCO is uh, also involved not only in education, but in culture and other things. Yeah, indeed. We have uh, 100 bags and uh, a lot of exercise books that were handed to us from uh, by uh, the coordinator of UNESCO. So at the beginning of uh, September, uh, this, the, the, the first children, the first uh, people that enroll, we are going to distribute those uh, school bags and books to them. Then secondly, we have opened a computer lab. Uh, there's a computer lab here uh, with close to 10 computers. So we want to incorporate uh, the, the learning process so that the, the children can take the practical session. And that was making this learning and primary school is making it different from other schools. By September, we shall be having school bus so that we pick up students from long distances that they can come here or we'll drop them school. When they close, we'll pick them up to uh, their various homes. So in terms of uh, uh, security, well, uh, you, you look at the environment, it's well secure, well protected. So there's guarantee when parents send their children to this school, you know that they guarantee we have efficient, qualified teaching staffs that have that are graduated from teachers' training college, both at the level of the Francophone section and at the level of the English section. And you, if you see the demarcation, the French section is different, the English section is different. And since it's a bilingual school, what we intend to do will come September is that a teacher who is teaching class class one uh, will draw the timetable in such a way that he leaves from his class, the teacher of class one leaves to the French uh, section in class one and teach French and teach English there, while the teachers from the class uh, one in French move there and then teach French so that the, with this interaction, the, the, the teachers too will get to uh, 
uh, learn the two languages. And the children will be learning the two languages. Certainly, sir. Oh, that is great. Uh, any other projects you have in in mind? Yeah, we have. Uh, we have uh, the secondary project is that by the end this year, our the, the children will, that we sell them to class six, they'll be writing first school and common entrance. So we have a prospect that um, if things move well. We shall open the secondary section uh, behind the, the primary section. Great. So immediately our children leave from class uh, for class six. They are entering our secondary school because they are well grounded. We will not train children in such a <coughs> put in a lot of energy, a lot of facility. Then we we'll give it to other schools. We want to grab them so that they, they continue to work with us. Has the manager of uh, the Lena Hendem nursery and uh, primary school? in Melo. Um, your syllabuses, how have you managed it? We, <clears throat> at the beginning of the year, uh, we have uh, the, we, we have the, the, the program from the, uh, from the inspectorate of basic education in Melong year. Yeah. So the syllabus comes from the, uh, at the from the, uh, the judicial delegation in Kong. They send it to the inspectorate, the inspectorate hand also. So we follow the national syllabus. The national program, as far as education is concerned, even in terms of textbooks, the textbooks we follow, we we follow the national uh, textbooks prescribed by the government. This holiday period, as a manager, what do you have to tell to parents that are still waiting to send their children to yes. school? Why they are still waiting at home to send uh, uh, children to school? Presently, we are, we, we have holiday classes that is all, that is going on. We have for close to 100 people that are presently from days one to two, class one, two, three, four, and five. We have a, a close to 100 for the five days that we started. So we are calling on parents to send the children during holiday classes. Because during holiday classes, they are not only on academic, but doing practical because the computer lab is on. Some of them are doing computer studies. I mean, some of those uh, children in primary school are doing computer studies. And in September, we are calling on them that we have all the facilities. The school is perfectly well equipped. We have uh, 12 classrooms for the English section. We have uh, uh, um, 16 toilets. For the, that is eight internal, eight uh, external for the English section. We have uh, the French section is well separated. We have a school van at our disposal. We have a computer lab at our disposal. So we have provided everything uh, that facilitates learning process for children. We have well trained uh, staffs uh, that, 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 are, that have graduated in teachers training college. So we are appealing on parents that please seize the opportunity, come and enjoy these advantages. And to the administration, what do you say? And to administration, we thank them so much. We so before we, we, the school commenced, we we already had an authorization, which means we have a good working relationship with the administration. At the level of the duo, the duo and the mayor have been here for a couple of times. The mayor even gave us uh, 15 benches as support for the school. So if we show how we've been working, uh, we have a good uh, uh, relationship with the, the local administration. Thank you, George. Thanks very much for having interest to see what we are doing here. Yeah. For the interest of our parents. And uh, my appeal is that uh, for those of, for those of uh, those of your viewers that are watching us uh, outside, uh, most of the children are here that are from Northwest and Southwest. Their parents are nowhere to be found. And then secondly, uh, last year we have uh, almost 20% uh, of those of those children could not pay school fees. So we are appealing to those who, are, those who can at least assist us in terms of uh, uh, subvention in terms of giving assistance to some of these children that cannot pay a school fees, some of them cannot even buy textbooks. So we are using, we use this forum to appeal to them for, to come to our system. That is great. Thank you very much, Mr. Judge.